Using more than one screen with your flip or propeller activity board at a time. If you've ever played with one of our OLED screens, you'll notice that on those screens, there are a set of pins. I'm gonna put my mouse here and highlight them. So you've got VCC, ground, D in, clock, CS. And basically what these are, these are the pins that carry the signals to the screen. Now what's neat about these screens is they they use the same protocols and so all of these wires can be paralleled between the two and so if I carefully lift this up so that you can see when you look at the circuit all of the yellow wires are going to the first screen and then those same connections are being made on the second screen with one very important exception and that is these blue wires the blue wires specifically are connected to the pin marked CS and what that stands for is chip select and so what it's doing is selecting which one of the two screens information is being displayed on. The way we can do that in our program is by simply telling which screen we want to work by setting its corresponding CS or chip select pin low. So the way that this program works is that we initialize it by saying where our yellow wires are connected. And you'll notice that on the CS pin right here, I've set it to two because I don't have anything hooked up to two. You can just set this to any pin that you're not using. From here, all you need to do is use your OLED commands the same way you would. Just make sure to set the pin to whichever screen you're trying to draw to low and any other screens high. If you use this trick, you could, you could probably add three, four, possibly five screens. As long as your wires are short and um, they still, um, you don't start losing signal in those connections.